Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to talk about a couple of products from Krylon. Here I got the workable fixative and this is number 1306 and the Krylon matte finish which is number 1311. Both of these products I use for my pencil art and we're going to discuss these in this video. Now the idea of a workable fixative is that it's to allow you to uh, help prevent smudging and smearing of the artwork that you've already done. Let's say you've drawn with pencil or charcoal as I do, or perhaps you work with pastels or some other medium that is prone to being smeared or, or smudged. And you want to continue working on that project though after you spray it with the fixative. And the workable fixative is designed for that very purpose, that you can continue to add more medium on top of it and so forth until you are done. As for the, the matted finish that I have here, that is when I'm completely done and I'm not going to do any more work on the project. If you're going to use a fixative, uh, you want to minimize the curling that will happen because of as the resins are drying, it'll start to curl your paper up. If you're using a thinner paper, which is perfectly okay to do, just remember that you'll need to like tape it down as it's drying so that it doesn't curl too much. And then when it dries, you can go ahead and you know untape it and it should be uh, pretty much okay. Now I'm gonna grab, for example, a, let's see, um, I'm going to use this Derwent 9B pencil I recently acquired for another video and I'm going to uh, do some, some uh, samples here that uh, I'm going to then apply this uh, workable fixative to so that you can see how it works. All right. Okay, we got plenty of examples here. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can just take a closer look at that. Now, for this little experiment, I'm going to cover up the first one here. And first off, I'm going to write no spray on the first one, okay? And then this one here will have one coat, two coats, and three coats. All right, so we'll go ahead and I'll cover up the one that's no spray. And I'm gonna take this workable fixative and I'm going to give it a light spray and then we'll let it dry. And after it dries, I'll come back and do the next one and the next one until we have one coat, two coats, and three coats. Um, as a word of caution, I suggest that uh, you only use this in a well-ventilated area. It's not good to breathe in the fumes. So in between springs, I'm going to run out of the room here and make sure that everything is, is well ventilated. And I have a little fan that's running in the back here so it keeps the air flowing. Anyway, here we go. Shake it up well. Okay, there's the first layer. Let's go ahead and let it dry. A few moments later. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover that up as well. And we'll give these two a second coat. Okay, we'll let that dry. Five minutes later. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover those three up. I have just one left. And instead of using the workable fixative, I'm going to go ahead and give it the final matte finish here. All right. And I'm going to step away for a few minutes, 
let that dry so I'm not breathing in these fumes. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I'm back and it's pretty much dry. I, I also put it underneath the fan so it would help out a little bit. I, I can see here that I have a little bit of staining here. Ew, no! I'm not sure you can see it with the camera, but there's a little bit right there and a little bit right there. So it's kind of bled through the paper somewhat. And that was the matted finish. So that's something you'll want to consider, especially if you're spraying on a white surface, paper surface here. Now we're going to see what this actually has done for me. Now remember the first one had no spray. There's no fixative on here at all. This has one coat, this has two coats, and this one here has two coats of workable and one coat of the matted, and that's only because it was exposed each time. You don't really have to do the separate coats of workative first. You can just go straight to the final finish. In this case, it's matte finish. They even have glossy finish if you want to get that. With graphite drawings, because your darker pencils already have kind of a shine to it, uh, using a matted fixative uh, has a way of muting down that glossy shine, which is undesirable in a pencil drawing. At least for most people, I believe, that draw in pencils. It definitely is for me. I don't want that nasty shine to, to bleach out my uh, dark areas. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use use this as a uh, my blender here. And we'll start with the first one here. Okay. So, you know, clearly you can blend. I'm going to find a clean area on my blender here and I'm going to do the next one. Okay. And next. Okay, and then the final one. Well, there you go. Now, as a disclaimer, I want you to know that when you are spraying fixative on your pencil drawings, you're doing it for the purpose of not intentionally smearing it like I just did. Here, I intentionally smeared these different test blotches. Whereas you would still be handling your art with respect and you would not be looking to smear it or rubbing it like I just did over and over and over and over again. So, for example, these three right here, you can see that one coat, you still get a little bit. Two coats, you get less. And the three coats are the one with the permanent stuff, even less so. Uh, and on this, by the way, if I had done another or a better coat on there, you would see nothing here. So the, the thing about a workable fixative is to help prevent this smearing. And it allows you, when you're using a workable fixative, it allows you to continue with your art. So I can come in here now, for example, and I can continue drawing either on what I've already done 
or in the white area, you know, I'm drawing something else. Even though there's fixative that has been sprayed in this white area. And you can see I have no problems drawing on the paper or on what I've already done in the graphite here. No problem at all. You can continue to work on your art. You can spray it with the workable fixative and then you can continue working on it again. See, the, the nice thing about the workable fixative is not only does it help minimize or prevent smearing and smudging as you continue with your work because when you work with soft graphite or when you work with charcoal, which we're going to look at in a second here, these materials smear easy and they smudge easy. You'll, you can have fingerprints and all that stuff all over your drawing and it could just be a real mess to clean up or if that's if you can but if you periodically come in there with some workable fixative you can help prevent that but another thing too is that the workable fixative also provides you with a surface area that you can then apply more material uh, that you want another thing you can use workable fixative for is to provide you with a drawing surface. For example, you might have some paper that is so smooth, like that real slick paper, that if you try to take pencil to it, that you, you really wouldn't be able to get anything uh, on it or very little at all. So for example, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this plastic that you can see here that's part of this DVD uh, holding here. Now clearly I can draw on the, the paper part. That's not a problem. But as you can see here with a pencil I'm not really getting anywhere. Now I'm going to put some paper underneath here so I don't spray all over my table and I'm going to spray some workable fixative on this. We're going to let that dry. Okay, after having sprayed one coat of workable, let's see if we can do anything with a pencil on this piece of plastic here. Now you should notice that I am able now to get something going. But it's not really that extreme. So just out of curiosity, I wonder if I can get a little more surface. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to spray it again. And we'll do that. That's the last time we'll do that. Let it dry one more time. Okay. Now we've given that enough time. I'm going to go ahead and see if we got more of a surface to work with here. Now, what you can see is, because of the workable fixative, I now have a surface that I can actually draw on. Not that I want to draw on plastic, but the whole point is, is if you have paper that isn't getting enough material on it, you can add the workable fixative onto that, and it will give you a little more bite so that you will be able to actually uh, get more medium on that. In this case it's a pencil but it could be charcoal or anything else. Here's a 9XXB that has carbon in it for example. And you can see that it's able to take that material. 
Now here I've turned it over. This is the side I was drawing on. Okay, and you can see I'm able to draw on it. Now I'm going to turn it over to the back where there's no fixative whatsoever. And you'll see nothing. Nothing. Turn it over. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and lay down some charcoal here. This is a soft charcoal stick here. Now, here's a tip. Before you spray your drawings with either type of fixative, make sure that you have brushed off any loose particles of charcoal or graphite. Because if you don't do that, it's going to stay there forever. So here I'm getting rid of that now we're good all right let's go ahead and cover the first one here which is our base and I'm going to use this workable fixative now just for giggles I'm also going to block out the last one too so that it only gets the final spray the matte finish That's the first coat. We'll go ahead and let that dry. Okay, now that it's dried, I'm going to go ahead and cover up the next one there. And that way this will get another coat of the workable fixative. And as a matter of saving some time, I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. And the last one is going to get the finalized spray with the matted finish here. Okay, that's the last and only coat that that's going to get. So we'll go ahead and we'll just let these things dry and I'll be back in a flash okay I've given it enough time to to dry now let's go ahead and test this charcoal out here and see how it comes up of course I expect the non protected charcoal to smudge And smudge it did. Now I'm going to find another clean area here on this felt. And we'll deal with the charcoal that has one coat of workable. And now again, let me just, before I start rubbing it, remember that it's just to kind of help prevent smudging as you continue work on your uh, drawing. If I take my finger and I just gently, notice I'm just going to, let me just zoom in here so you can see this. Okay, you notice I'm just going to kind of move my finger gently as if you were handling your, your drawing with your fingers, which is not advisable, but in case it did or you're somehow you just kind of accidentally went through it, you'll notice 
that it's doing its job even with something as soft as uh, soft charcoal here and it will do the same with graphite and that is it's going to help prevent smudging now if you wonder if you get the same effect just with plain charcoal unprotected I'll just do this up here and now I'm just going to casually touch this and you can see that it's going to smudge all day long okay and then you leave fingerprints see that that's unprotected so in this case here one coat is enough of workable but now if I go and I take this felt and I start rubbing it I'm going to get some some smudge not much though that's pretty good and now here get another clean area on the felt this is with two coats and you can see it's even less smudgy there's just a little bit I don't know if you can see that on the camera but there's just a little bit and then of course the final spray sample here nothing it's just the same so that's fully protected but these are respectively respectably protected <laughs> I learn English um, you can move your hand your fingers all around it and you won't do that with your drawing and you can see unprotected it looks just like that okay now I've let this dry after having sprayed it with the matted finish and it's completely dry so you don't see that outline the wetness outline that uh, uh, we saw previously at least I assume maybe it showed up on the camera and now this should be a permanent fix so this is charcoal and I'm going to move my hand across it see if it prevents smearing and you can see there's no smearing now I'm going to just try to rub it with this and of course that's defeating the purpose of why you would fix a, a piece of art you don't start rubbing it like I'm going to do but, but let's just see how much abuse this can take after it has been sprayed well it could take a lot of abuse as you can see there's hardly anything at all that came off of there so if you're going to finish your work can use this and uh, it's for permanent archival purposes so that you can leave it out it won't yellow and it's supposed to resist moisture it'll eliminate the glossy sheen that uh, you'll see uh, especially with uh, soft graphite it'll, it'll tend to mat that down a little bit uh, there is some that say that spraying the matted finish on charcoal or soft pastels uh, because they're absorbent that the absorbency of it would 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 cause uh, a change in in the um, charcoal or the soft pastel in the way of dulling but I don't uh, I don't use it for either anyway I use it for pencil personally but anyway I just wanted to pass that on because that's what people are saying uh, online and again with the workable fixative 
once you've sprayed with a workable, you can keep working on it. So your job isn't done necessarily. Whereas with this matted finish, now that I've sprayed matted finish, you don't want to use that and then start to have to draw on top of that because that's not its intended purpose. It's a slight rough feeling, not bad, but slight rough feeling. And yes, I'm I'm drawing on top of it. As you can see right there. But that's not what it's intended for and not recommended. So if you want to keep drawing, use the workable fixative. Well that concludes this video on these two products, the Krylon Workable Fixative and the Krylon Matted Finish. I hope you enjoyed the experiments that uh, were performed within this video and if so, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that and subscribe if you haven't done so already so that way you're notified of all my upcoming videos. And again, I want to thank you for watching.